In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the slope of a linear graph. So a linear graph is a graph that looks like a line. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but it looks like a line. If it is a curved, in the future, we're going to have to learn how to linearize that first and then use the method that I'm going to show you today to calculate the slope. So we have two methods of calculating slope. The first method is the rise over run. The second method is the y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I'm going to go ahead and show you the rise over run method first. First we're going to use the rise over run method. So the slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. So I'm going to pick two points and ideally we want to pick two points where the grid lines are intersecting. So I'm going to pick a point here and then I'm also going to pick a point here. It does not have to be where your dots are. It could be any two, um, any two points as long as it is on the line. And then I'm going to draw a line vertically up and then one horizontally. Um, and so it's going to create kind of a triangle. It's going to look like a triangle there. And then going up, I'm going to count how many units it go, goes up. Now you want to be really careful with the rise over run method. The issue that students often have is that they think that each of the, when they go up, they think each of the box has to represent one. That's not true. In this case, you'll notice that the, the, each of the boxes represent five. So we're going to go five, 10, 15, 20. So this is going to be 20 meters. And then going to, towards the right, um, each box does not represent one unit. It actually represents two units. So we're going to go two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's going to be ten. And then the units down there is seconds. Okay. So the slope, so the slope is 20 meters divided by 10 seconds. And 20 divided by 10 is 2 meters per second. And so our slope here is 2 meters per second. What you have to be real careful with this first method is to remember that each box doesn't necessarily represent one. It could represent a different um, number, such as two vertically in our case, and then horizontal or vertically in our case it represented five, and horizontally actually each box represented two. So you gotta be real careful with that. Now let's take a look at method number two. So in method number two, we're going to use this equation that the slope is equal to, and there's a couple ways to write this, it could equal to the delta y over the delta x, the change in y over the change in x. This just means the same thing as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay. So what do we need to do here is to pick two points. And I'm going to pick the two, same two points. They could be any two points on the line. And I want to clarify here that um, you can't just pick any two points that you plotted. Because if the points that you plotted are not on the best fit line, um, your number isn't going to be very accurate. So you want to pick two points that are on the line. It does not have to be points that you plotted. And then you're going to write their coordinates. So we have 4 and 10. So this is 4 and 10. So the horizontal, the, the horizontal number first, and then the vertical number. And then this is going to be 14 and 30. Okay. So um, the first one we're gonna we're gonna call this uh, x1 and x2. So this is x1, sorry, and x1 and y1. This will be x2 and y2. All right. So now we're just going to plug in our numbers. So y2 is 30 minus y1 is 10 divided by x2 is 14 minus x1 is 4. So 30 minus 10 is 20. 14 minus 4 is 10. And 20 divided by 10 is 2. And our units is going to be whatever the unit on the uh, y-axis is, the vertical axis, divided by the number on the x-axis. So once again, we get two meters per second. Between the two methods, my the, the my suggestion is used is to use method one if it's a real simple problem uh, where your grid lines are just ones, okay. Um, but if it gets a little bit more complicated where the boxes are not necessarily represented by a unit of one, you may want to try method two. So method two is is, is probably a better method. Um, it's a little bit more work. Method one is a little easier method, a quicker method, um, but sometimes students get in trouble um, if they don't take into account um, the units of each of the boxes. If you want to learn more physics, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.